everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Yulia and I have the most special vlog today for you we are in New York babies I'm super excited I'm by myself and we're here to experience the time in New York while it's the New York Fashion Week okay don't get me wrong and don't get confused I'm not gonna be attending to any of New York fashion shows but I live for fashion my work is fashion so I really wanted to go to New York while it's fashion week and see what's going on in the city there is a million of different events and I just really wanted to experience it and uh, on the other hand I just love New York and I just needed to escape for a few days to get a little bit of inspiration to reset to be quite honest I live in LA I'm a wardrobe stylist I also own a small online boutique and um, I just needed a little reset so I decided to escape for three days to come to New York and um, to enjoy this beautiful city I love New York I've been here twice at this point and uh, yeah I think I'm gonna have a great time I do have a couple of friends living in New York but I don't even think that I'm gonna see them so I'm just gonna enjoy my time with myself so hey guys that's gonna be the vlog and of course I have nothing on because we're gonna get ready together I, I'm in a really small hotel because it was kind of a last-minute decision and the prices were ridiculous New York is really expensive in terms of hotels and the hotels are not that, ni that nice many times and I'm in a hotel uh, that it's really close really really close uh, to little Italy it's like two minutes walking from here and it's pretty good location I definitely wanted to be close to Soho I wanted to be close to downtown I personally like this area more than Upper East Side for example East Village, Chelsea, um, Tribeca other places that I enjoy the most in uh, New York, Soho of course so yeah this is my hotel and it's tiny and the only thing that I don't need much but it's where to put my clothes because I brought a bunch of different outfits that I want to take pictures of because this is kind of relaxing but not that relaxing trip I'm definitely gonna be filming lots of outfits and uh, doing lots of content because it's part of my job so obviously I took a shower already and we're gonna get ready let's do this so I'm in my bathroom and I brought a really good amount of makeup because I wanted to have options but what I wanted to show you specifically in this get ready are these blushes from the brand Merit Merit is definitely having a moment well in 2022 and is definitely continuing having a moment in this 2023 I worked with them before it's a brand that launched a couple of years ago I would say and they just came out with a new cream blushes shades and uh, I tried the blushes before and they're pretty good and they sent it to me really kindly so we're gonna be trying these out today Merit was definitely really popular in 22 with the entire line to be quite honest with the bronzer with the blushes with the lipstick so really excited because I haven't used the cream blushes in quite a while so we're gonna try those out. I have two shades. I have the shade Stockholm and I have the shade Beverly Hills. I'm gonna show it to you in a second. This is the format of the blush. I'm gonna probably apply it with a brush instead. You can definitely do it like this for really easy everyday makeup. This is like a really beautiful rosy shade. This is the shade Beverly Hills and this is probably the shade that I'm gonna be using today. I love this kind of shades. And the shade Stockholm is a little bit um, more vibrant. It's a little bit more like peachy. There you go. But definitely both of the shades are really like rosy leaning colors which are really popular right now. So yeah, let's start. I have my primer. This one is from Essence. It was like $6 and it's really really good. It's called the Hello Good Stuff and it's supposed to be a dupe to the glow recipe one and i haven't tried the glow recipe one but i really really like this one and then my foundation is the lancome ultra taint idol ultra aware foundation this is the old format i bought it pretty recently but i love this foundation it's definitely one of my favorite foundations
concealer it's gonna be rare beauty i love rare beauty let's do a little bit of cream bronzer this i have also this stick from rare beauty Let's go with the blush, with the cream blush. I think I'm gonna go with the shade Beverly Hills from Merit and I'm gonna use a brush. Yeah, this is beautiful. I already used these blushes and they're like really natural, really creamy blushes and I love this shade, honestly. It's like beautiful everyday shade really wearable this is how it looks by itself I'm definitely gonna be putting um, powder brush on top because I always do that to make my blush last longer but this looks beautiful a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury spotlight you guys the amount of outfits that I brought with me I brought like stuff that is not from my brand and stuff also that is from my brand that i want to take some pictures super excited about that right now it's around 9 30 a.m i was so tired yesterday i flew yesterday from la my flight was at 8 30 a.m and i arrived here around 5 p.m and it took me a while to get to the hotel and i arrived to the hotel like at 6 30 or something around there and i was just destroyed i haven't slept really well the last couple of nights and also there is a three hours time difference so i woke up like at 6 a.m la time but yeah i woke up at 9 i'm not gonna lie i wanted to wake up a little bit earlier but it didn't happen i was just too tired okay bronzer makeup by mario i adore this stuff A little bit of a Rare Beauty highlighter. Another Rare Beauty product that went viral. I like it. It's a little bit too intense for me sometimes, but it is undeniably beautiful. And then I think I'm gonna put this blush on top of the cream merit blush just a little bit to set it up and uh, so it's gonna last a little bit longer this is from nabla this is the skin glazing um powder in the shade independence it has that beautiful sheen let's do brows i'm gonna be using this two anastasia Beverly hills products And let's do the eyes. I don't want to go too crazy with my eye makeup because I'm wearing a um, really bright orange dress. So I'm gonna keep it pretty neutral, I think. Yesterday I haven't vlogged anything because I haven't done anything yesterday. I just came to the hotel. I went to have a real quick dinner by myself and I went to bed. But today I will definitely try to be the best blogger because I don't have that much time here in the city and I wanted to show you a bunch of places. It always happens to me and I hope this is not gonna happen with this vlog but I was last time in New York in uh, April of 2022 and I vlogged it but I never posted. I'm divorced. I travel quite a lot with my husband and I vlog it. That's the thing that I vlog it but then I just don't edit it which it's a shame. It's not like I don't want to. I'm just so busy that I mean I love YouTube definitely but it's not my source of income right now so that's one of the reasons that sometimes i prioritize other things over youtube but i still love youtube by the way i just used this pretty old palette this one is from kiko it's a italian brand and it has the perfect six shades
and that's gonna be our makeup of the day. Okay, so I'm ready. I just need to put my outfit on and have the most beautiful outfit in the entire world that I will not be able to show you in, in the hotel because I don't have a big mirror, but I'm definitely gonna be filming it. I need to film this outfit. So let me show you. I have this absolutely stunning orange dress. This one is from ASOS with this fringes. It looks absolutely insane. Then I have some matchy earrings. I'm gonna be wearing my Vince Camuto high boots and a Topshop coat. So let's do this. This is the most that I can show you. So this is the dress. Oh my gosh, you can't see the bottom, but it's amazing. I'm wearing my black Topshop coat and this bag, you guys. This is something else. This bag is from a brand called Cara and it's so freaking adorable. It's just so, so cute. you guys so I'm back in the hotel it's the same day I have another outfit but it's the same day it's around 2 p.m. so I went to Soho I went to a super cool pop-up with um, um, emerging designers uh, collections that was really fun and I walked around I had a coffee I didn't have any food yet today and I'm not hungry which is really weird and uh, I took some pictures by myself no shame with my tripod and I came back I just changed and we're gonna go to Spring Studios area to see what's going on over there if there was a little bit more of movement so yeah I'm gonna show you the outfit don't worry about that but this is the look I'm wearing a real business suit it's a my power suit uh, dual earrings change my lipstick I'm gonna wear a hat and yeah I think we're ready to go and I'll see you outside again <laughs> some videos and I'm about to go to the hotel to change 
and I know there is another show happening in another place so I will try to go there I will take a taxi lift over go to my hotel change super fast and go there I haven't had lunch breakfast or anything like that I'm just running you know, like crazy but I'm enjoying this so so much really enjoying this weather also it's cold but it's nice weather it's really sunny it's beautiful outside so yeah guys I'll see you in another outfit in a little bit okay you guys look number three of the day running late but just wanted to show you it's definitely a nighttime outfit wearing this corset that I got at ASOS absolutely obsessed sequin skirt and this blazer with feathers it's from my brand why wear the label I'm gonna be wearing this Jimmy Choo pumps and my card Geiger bag <laughs> I'm so tired. It's 7.38 p.m. I'm in my hotel room again and I changed for the fourth time today. The place that I told you there was an event at 5 p.m. so I arrived that there was nothing. So I walked to Spring Studios and there was an event. Uh, it wasn't a runway but there was a bunch of photographers and uh, influencers and whatnot but I really couldn't understand what kind of event it was. It was like a private something, but it wasn't a runway. I walked back to the hotel and I rested for a little bit and now I'm going to dinner. I'm going to have a dinner by myself. I'm totally fine with that. I booked a place. Uh, it's 50 minutes walking. It's like American cuisine restaurant. I just want something juicy i'm just i'm just craving a burger or ribs or something like that i'm so hungry you guys i was so cold the day was a beautiful day in uh, new york but during the night it was really cold and i was wearing like this fancy skirt and a fancy like corset it wasn't warm at all so i was freezing outside so now i'm like i'm wearing a turtleneck i'm wearing another top underneath and then i'm wearing a blazer and i'm gonna wear a coat on top because i'm like i'm not doing this i don't need to do this tomorrow's gonna be another day my feet oh my gosh my feet you guys i was walking on heels all day so they are killing me but i put these boots right here the heel i mean it's not low but I think it will be better and I'm wearing jeans. So yeah, I'm gonna walk to the restaurant I think to go back to the hotel. I'm probably gonna take a lift or on a road. Just so you can see a little bit my outfit. I'm wearing this coat. This one is from River Island. Love it. It's super long, super nice. Then the blazer, the turtleneck, the jeans and the boots. And I'm taking my Lady Dior with me. And yeah, this is warm and cozy and nice. So. Let's do this. Good morning, you. Oh my gosh, my voice. Good morning, you guys. Um, today's Sunday. It's around 10:20 a.m. I slept in a little bit, and we're ready to go. And enjoy the New York Fashion Week day two. I look really glowy on the camera. I don't look like this in person. I swear. Anyway, so yeah, I yesterday I just went to bed. I struggled to fall asleep because of the time difference. In LA, it's three hours less, so my body is not just adjusting like that, and that's why this morning I woke up at 8:30. But for my body, it was like 5:30. So. Anyway, I'm ready. I have my first outfit on. Now I'm gonna take some pictures. I'm wearing something for my brand. And I definitely wanted to create a little bit of content for my boutique. 
I have a big lunch the next week. I'm redoing the entire website and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, definitely wanted to do that. So I have a few outfits. I'm wearing the blazer from my brand and then the skirt and the rest of the outfit. It's not. And then I have packed like a set, like a really cute set also from my brand. I'm gonna have breakfast or something similar. I already know where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Tribeca. I found a spot yesterday and uh, I think it's gonna be a good spot to take some pictures there. Uh, and then I'll go back to the hotel, leave all my stuff, change and we'll go to Spring Studios again and see what's going on today. Today is February 12th, uh, it's the Super Bowl day, so I think it's gonna be more quiet the city in general. I don't think it's gonna affect the fashion week in any way, but in general the city is gonna be more quiet, which I prefer. I love New York, I genuinely do, but it's a little bit chaotic. It's like for two, three days it's perfect and then take me back to California. Let me show you part of my outfit. I'll definitely film my outfit and you will see it right after this introduction. And yeah, let's we'll start this Sunday morning. I just put my heels on and oh my gosh, it doesn't feel good. Okay, anyway, so this is the blazer from my brand. This is from YY the label. I'm gonna link it in the description box. I'm wearing this super cool earrings that are from Zara. I got them like a million of years ago. And then don't mind this this really simple cami because I'm gonna button the blazer. But I just wanted to show you this skirt. This skirt is from ASUS. I just got a bunch of stuff from ASUS because I had today <laughs> the next day delivery, so that was my place to go. And it's like a satin midi skirt with this beautiful slit. I'm wearing really simple pumps. And then I'm adding my River Island blue coat and my Lady Dior bag. I look like a Ukrainian flag with blue and yellow. For those who don't know, I am Ukrainian. I was born in Ukraine, so yeah. This is gonna be our first look of the day and let's go! And then the other outfit that I want to film, I'm wearing in this huge tote. This is my traveling bag, this Givenchy tote, everything in there. So yeah, let's do this. <laughs> change. I went to Tribeca, I took a couple of pictures then I was at the coffee shop having breakfast and uh, working for a little bit and now I'm gonna leave again. Let me show you the details of my outfit. So I'm wearing this fitted blazer. This one is from Mango. This is new. And then I'm wearing uh, on the bottom this faux leather dress. For my shoes I'm gonna be wearing this amazingly beautiful Malone Soulier booties i love them but i'm like i'm so scared to destroy them the streets of new york are not the easiest to walk in but they just go perfectly with this outfit and then i have this super cool fall fur jacket this one is from a brand called frame and i am adding my ysl sac de jour back change my earrings just wearing really simple hoops from Ana Luisa. red lipstick and i'm also gonna add my new Valentino sunglasses that I really really like even though I don't need sunglasses but we're gonna take them. I was thinking to wear it tomorrow but I changed my mind and we're wearing it today.
once again from my hotel room. I don't know how many times I came back and left my hotel room today. And I haven't spoke to you in a minute, but I was running around the city basically. So it's what time it is. It's 7.20 p.m. I'm back to my hotel room. I'm wearing the same outfit that I was wearing this morning and let me explain. So what happened is that I went to the Spring Studios where the New York Fashion Week headquarters are and I had my little movie star moment uh, twice. So there is a bunch of photographers over there and um, there is a bunch of events, not only runways because you never know where runaway is unless you're invited to the runway. I was lucky to catch that Padbo runway, but other than that, I really didn't know where the runways are. But at the headquarters, uh, the Spring Studios, there is always something going on, it looks like. So the three times that I went there, there was a bunch of photographers and celebrities, influencers, and models. I went there this morning because that was the plan, that was the initial plan, and... There was a photographer from Vogue that took some pictures of me and I'm like, okay, okay then. That was one of the goals of this trip. It doesn't really mean anything, but as my job as a stylist, it's like, okay, to say that you were in Vogue magazine or Bazaar or whatever, just to show that my looks are worth being featured in those kind of magazines. But then I was like, okay, let's try to wear something from my boutique and see if there is something going on again and uh, just check it again. So I'm wearing this blazer that I showed you this morning. I took pictures by myself of this blazer. This is a blazer from my brand Why Why the Label and I went there and they took a, a bunch of pictures of me. Tomorrow or in a few days I'll definitely need to check out if I'm on any of those platforms. I did that. So then I went to Soho walking and I checked a few stores because that was another reason why I came here to New York. I love LA. I would never move to another state that it's not Southern California. But I have to admit that in New York, they have better fashion. The best fashion in the US is located in New York. That's how it is. So I definitely wanted to check out a few stores and uh, I also went to The Real Wheel. I love shopping for loved. I haven't bought anything because I don't have space like to literally I don't have space and uh, then I went to an Italian restaurant called uh, La Pecora Bianca it was amazing the other thing that I love and prefer in New York rather than in LA is the food again I love LA and that's where my home is and I don't want to move to any other state seriously but the food here and the restaurants, they never disappoint. So I had some pasta, delicious, it was really, really good. And from there I took a lift and I came back to my hotel room. And I need to clean this mess because I was changing so many times today and my room is a mess. And I definitely need to do a little bit of work on my laptop. I need to edit some stuff, I need to update a few things on my website. So yeah, I'm gonna spend the rest of the day in my room and that's it i'm having a great time here i definitely needed to do this trip by myself and no regrets at all i'm having a great time i am tired but i'm having a great time and i think it's gonna be a great experience i'm definitely feeling like really motivated with a lot of energy and with a lot of inspiration and motivation to keep going and yeah you guys so I'm gonna get a little bit more comfortable, I'm gonna clean my room, so yeah, I'll talk to you a little bit later. taking some last pictures and I'm going back to the hotel to pack everything and to get ready to go to the airport even though I still have some time so I'll probably go around the town the city one more time but yeah it's really cold today it's freezing but 
it's a beautiful day. It's just a little bit windy and a little bit colder, but yeah, last hours in New York City. Back in the hotel for the last time. I packed everything. That's my small luggage for three days, as you can tell. It was more than 40 pounds. It's ridiculous. And uh, I'm just gonna go and grab some breakfast and uh, walk around. Then I'll come back and uh, I'll take a taxi to Penn Station and from Penn Station I'm going to Newark. I'm flying with Spirit, so I'm flying out of Newark, New Jersey. But it's not that bad, honestly. It's pretty convenient. You go to Penn Station and you have just one train and then you're already at the airport. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do.